most accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather, sponsored by Mossy Nissan. You know, most stations I've worked at always have like that secret hiding place where yeah. people will find a place to nap. Oh, we got know, lots like, of dark closets. Do we have it here? Yeah, kind of moldy, we to... but you know, we're going <laughs> to use a nap sleep. pod. Yeah, there you go. If we had one of those, that's probably where Steve would go while I do the weather. Oh my gosh, yes, <laughs> why not? Quick nap for two minutes. I know what you're going to say. I need that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does the news. <laughs> it's been a beautiful sunny day. PV looking great today and that sunset is shaping up to be beautiful. Picture perfect. Take advantage of it because changes are on the way. As we take a live look outside, 73 degrees in San Diego. Humidity at 14%. Dew points are low, very dry because of the Santa Ana winds we had over the last couple of days. The winds coming out of the west northwest at about six miles. So again, not a whole lot of wind. That'll change. Low clouds expected to move in tonight. We'll see some areas of fog and perhaps even low visibility into tomorrow morning. It will be much cooler this weekend and then showers moving back in on Sunday, but it's going to be just a, a quick moving system. Here's what's happening right now. High pressure still in place, but then as we move up north, we find this cool pocket of air. You can see those are actually called cloud streets as the clouds start lining up almost parallel to each other as the cold air moves south and we'll see that cold air extending into California and the clouds will be building tonight, but that's actually associated to a coastal eddy. This is ahead of the storm and you see there's some clearing to the north. We'll tap into some of that tomorrow afternoon. The the clouds will start building even more on Sunday, but check it out. There could be a little bit of that fog actually allowing for some light rain Sunday morning. The best chance, however, will be in the afternoon and evening as a main band comes through, expecting all of it to be pretty light under half an inch. High wind watch will be going into effect as the winds pick up on Sunday with that system moving through. It'll be affecting the mountains, so this time around coastal areas and valleys should be on the clear for the wind. We can take a break from that tonight. 47 and Escondido and then tomorrow we'll see those temperatures falling in our 10 news pinpoint seven day forecast 60s with a touch of rain either early morning and then again in the afternoon on Sunday. Inland areas falling to 61 on Sunday, then we'll start to recover by Tuesday. It'll be much nicer next week from Monday afternoon with sunshine to warming temperatures by the middle of the week. And then on Friday, close to 80 degrees. Not bad at all in the mountains. We have that wind picking up on Sunday, but it's brief. But it's brief. That's, That's it. it. All right. Forecast. Okay, we'll take it. All right.